Today I'm going to be building a steam cleaner for degreasing tools and things like that, car parts. I was just going to throw it together and get it going and I decided maybe I should just go ahead and post a quick little video because a lot of guys are interested in some of these steam generators. This is basically going to be a tube boiler, a mono tube boiler. I'm going to want at least 100 psi of steam pressure to really blast away this grime and stuff like that. That may be a little too much. I don't know yet, but I know I'm going to want at least the very minimal 50 psi. I have a video where I did a test with a small coil like this, and it produced one hell of a steam jet. It blasted from one side or the other to this garage. So this one's going to be a little bit more substantial. Uh, the steam's going to be a lot hotter, and uh, I think this thing's going to work out pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. And okay, so I got the coil all tied off here. We're ready to braise. My water wall got messed up just a little bit there. I accidentally had a wire snagged onto it, and it'll breathe a little bit better now. So I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. Just having it as the wall was okay, but. At least this way, I know the fire will fly out of there nice and easy. I'm not going to get too particular about that. I would have had to take the whole thing back apart and re-anneal it. Because what I've been doing as I'm building this is I'll get it almost red hot till it starts uh, doing the iridescence. And that'll soften it back up. So when I'm doing a lot of these little tight in and out bends. So it's a process. So I'm going to be bracing this together. And to do that, I'm going to be using... HHO diffused acetone. I, I hate the word HHO by the way. I'm going to be using oxyhydrogen um, with this oxyhydrogen torch that I built years ago. This particular unit's fairly powerful. It'll pull 20 amps out of the wall. That gives you any idea. And that, that provides you about 5 liters per minute of extremely explosive gas. And what I do to increase the BTU rating of the oxyhydrogen gas, I pump it through this diffuser I made, or infuser, perhaps that's what it's called. It's an infuser. It uh, basically bubbles the oxyhydrogen gas through acetone, and acetone is very good for brazing. I don't know what it is about acetone, especially with copper. Now, we all know that acetone reacts with copper and makes it glow red hot. So there's some type of catalytic acetone reaction that takes place that makes acetone the absolutely best gas for brazing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is something I normally haven't or don't do is I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up for the brazing process so you can watch me build this thing. Typically I like to listen to music when I build stuff which causes a bit of a copyright issue. So I don't film the construction process, but today, just because we're doing something kind of interesting with the acetone infusion, reacting with the copper. If you're not familiar with the catalytic process I'm talking about, go ahead and check out the catalytic reaction of acetone with copper videos on YouTube. And you'll see that you can get a piece of red hot copper to glow continuously simply by being exposed to acetone vapors. So perhaps that's part of the essence behind the exceedingly good flow attributes of acetone when it comes to brazing. Okay, that's about 15 amps of oxygen.
Okay, so here we are, all burn up. My torch was a little cold. I should have cranked her up to 20 amps. I didn't have enough electrolyte in the torch. If you put more electrolyte in it, you get a hotter flame. I was just trying to tough through with that, but I think that's going to be good enough for me. I don't know if you can see the inside of the coil there. The inner coil is not very tight. It's probably got a quarter inch gap in between each coil. I did that because I want to get that water out of that small tube as quick as possible. I don't want to in inhibit flow rate too much. I'm hoping the torch I'm going to use will be able to handle it. I'm hoping it'll be able to generate enough heat. I'm going to check the BTU rating on some of these torches and see what we got. The one I have in mind puts out uh, probably the largest flame I've ever seen a standard propane tank put out. I'll fire this thing up and show you what it'll do. That ought to fill that boiler up pretty good. 